Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transmission Parts ID with Victor Sane. And this week we're going to go over the A500 904 pump rear stators. If you remember from last week, if you tuned in, you got to see the front pump housing of the same ones. These also cover the 40, 42, 44 REs. And I still just call them A500s. Now, you have a short, medium, and long, at least, short, medium, and long stator shaft right here. Which on the short one over here, the short one measures 3.633. The medium, 3.760, is a considerable difference. And then the longest one that I've found is the 3.816. Now, there may be more lengths. I know there is at least three different lengths. There may be some more lengths in between, or there may be some longer than the longest ones that I've ever come across, or shorter than the shortest ones that I've ever come across. There are at least three different lengths that I know of. Then on top of that, you'll notice that these two short ones that I have here, which there's at least a short, medium, and long of this variation. And the difference between this variation and this variation is you have two balls right here. See them? Two balls and then another hole. So there's always three holes but some have two balls and some have three balls blocking up the holes. So there you have at least six different variations once you get to that point. Now, there's what's called a 13 hole or a 14 hole. What they really mean is that you have your, your six bolt holes and then you have if you look at it from the back see and then you have these other holes here and if you count from here you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve holes here that makes this a 13 hole and I know that sounds confusing but what they're going off of is even though you have 12 holes here, there will the gasket that's used for this to go between here and the case will be a 13 hole gasket for the 12 holes. And then for the 14 hole one, you see right here you have two fluid ports. On the 14 hole, You'll have another fluid port here where they've, they've carved out this metal here and they put another hole here so more fluid can flow through. And so you'll have a total of three fluid ports. That would be your 14 hole stator. So this is, when you see it looks like this and it's got two fluid ports, that's a 13 hole stator. If you have three fluid ports, it's a 14 hole stator. Once you factor that in, then you have a total of 12 different stator that you could have. Then next you could have a one or two bushing stator. One bushing stator has a bushing right here and no bushing right here because as you can see there's not a lot of room here. It's too thin to put a bushing. So this, this will be taller. You'll have more room right here for a bushing to be in the drum and then it'll be a two bushing stator as opposed to a one bushing stator. Now without that you had 12 different variations. Well, now you have 24 different variations of just this pump stator not counting the differences that we went over last week for the front pump housing which as we covered there, that has infinite number of depths and infinite number of thicknesses for the gears. So whatever 24 is multiplied by infinity, I don't know how to write that number, but I guess you'd write 24 in the upper right-hand corner of the infinity symbol. 
that's how many pumps you could have, how many different pumps you could have up until 2004. And then 2004 and later, I don't know what you're going to run into, but this is as much as I can tell you and as many differences as I can go over. So be very careful with your Chrysler pumps and thank Mopar for this. And hey, Mopar. <laughs> the Mopar mama in the background, I want to give her thanks for providing some Mopar parts for us to cover. And you can go look at her page, uh, Lucy Sane on YouTube. And till next week, get off the couch and get dirty. Don't forget to share our videos. And also remember, sharing is caring.